Praise the Lord. I'm back. This is a third video for the day. God bless all of you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Let me get on. We shall love on. Let me get on. We shall love on. Let me get on. You shall love him. He may get on. Yes, Lord, we love you. God bless all of you. We are back for the third video. God bless all of you. How many of you have been watching me since? This is my third video. So we're going, this is going to be the one that will make us 12 hours. How many of you watched video one and video two? If you did, type me so I can pray for those people first. If you were on the, vi the first and the second video, that means you've been with me eight hours already. My God. I'm so proud of you. If you were watching me the first one and the second one, type me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Make it all. Yeah. Wow, Purity has been watching me. All three videos, you watch everything. Like you didn't sleep? Are you sure you didn't go and come back? Hmm. I go be now. Are you sure you didn't sleep off and come back? Angel. Are you guys sure that you didn't take a break and come back? Wow. You watched the whole thing? The ones that started from beginning to the end, though. <laughs> wow are you serious Felicia too you guys are strong oh. wow don't you guys get tired watching we've just done 8 hours we're going for another 4 hours again wow it's not easy. You're not tired. Me, I'm just sitting on the same spot. Adobe says, like, Facebook is unfollowing some of you. Yeah, Facebook has been unfollowing a lot of my followers. That's why I have to keep checking my page. 
and go back and click follow again sorry they've been doing this for a while now that's why most people don't even know when i'm live they just check like can i just updated the status saying i'm live hopefully they will see that one it is well thank you jesus So nobody has watched from beginning to the end with me. Two videos. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we've been doing deliverance. We've been praying for people. The last video, we were doing family deliverance, husband and wife and family. It all started from a lady I was praying for. Her husband was there tapping into it. He too started vomiting. So before you know it, we started praying for the whole family. So if you're still here with your husband or with your wife, you can comment. Otherwise, everybody else just comment. We finished. I just finished praying for a lady before the last video ended. So we're going to keep praying for you guys. If you are sick or you, are, you believe you need deliverance, serious deliverance, the anointing, the anointing is here for it. Just type what what's wrong with you and i will invite you if you've been watching if you watch all two videos when you type also mention that you watch all two videos i will invite you before anybody else okay wow you guys have really tried though I me mean, i'm still here i didn't sleep last night it's not easy at least at least you have something to watch now for those of you that are not doing anything eh abby <laughs> At least you have something to watch. It's better than doing nothing, right? Hallelujah. I'm waiting now. I'm reading your comments. If I see your comments and I'm led, I invite you. The last lady I prayed for, she was suffering from stagnation. And I believe she's free. If she believes it, then so shall it be. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm reading your comments. Hallelujah. That may, that may he care all. You may care all. Wow, somebody said they were diagnosed with epilepsy a few years ago out of the blue. Mecca Pearson. I want to pray for this one. That's the spirit. Make up piercing. Let me know if you want me to call you and pray for you. Meaning you are ready. Uh huh. Xenology, Peggy. I think I tried to invite you. I've seen your name in all the videos. God bless you. If your network is not connecting, I'm trying you again one more time, sweetie. I pray it works this time, okay? Xenology. Zen Xenology. Then make it all. Then make it all. Let's see. Let's see. The knowledge is not connecting. No. Hey. All right. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, the knowledge. In Jesus' name. I'm on West. Let me try this one. You say you. Hey, the one with the epilepsy, let me know if you want me to call you, eh? Meaning you're in a play already. Hey, woman of God, good afternoon. <laughs> I'm always, you don't look like the one that has serious stomach pain now. Yeah, it's me, ma. But you're not looking no, like... No, as in, it's been years, it's been years. I've been to the doctor, but they said I couldn't see nothing. So right so, yes. now, you're looking fine like this. You mean you have to back pain? At times when when the pains hook me, I'm not be able to do any other thing. Well, right now, do you have this pain? Yes, inside here, my left hand side here. And what do you think it is? You don't know. And how many years has it been there? Since when I was in Africa, since I was leeching. So where where I came from, they do call it a uh, Hiroma, I don't know. So I've been taking um, um native medicine. And where are you from? 
I'm from Edo State. Mm -hmm. When you say awesome. native medicine, is that the one they get from voodoo voodoo doctor? No, no, not voodoo. Because if you see, if you see many people from my tribes, they have this thing. The, are you hearing? The, 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 are you are you hearing the noise, or am I the only one hearing the noise? No, my kids. Let me close the door. Uh, did you lock it or you just closed it? I close it because somebody is there to look after them. Okay, so so it's not voodoo priest dog uh, medicine. Mm -hmm. It's just no. And uh, you have not done anything with voodoo priest before. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, it's like it's like almost everybody that comes from that Edo state, they've done something voodoo. Yeah, because uh, my family uh, is a family that practice this um, idolatry, you know. Yeah. So what are what have they done to you? Maybe I'll call you another day when there is no noise, because there is too much noise, and you're not dealing with it well. You say there is somebody taking care of it, but we keep still hearing the person. Please. Mama Purity, I beg. Let me look after Laris. I beg. Let me look after her. Because of the noise. I close the door. I beg. Can you, lock, can you lock your own door? Or your door doesn't lock? The door locks. I kept the key because of the keys because they do open and lock. So I just removed it. Okay, go ahead. Tell us. You say that your family, they do um what? <laughs> A lot. Okay, so what have you, what have they done to you? Hmm. Um, so my dad is late now. My dad is late now because there was a time my dad took me to oh Jesus Christ. See, I go 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 and meet Mama Purity. Oh Jesus Christ, what is this to do? It's okay, sweetie. We can call you another time, or I can just speak a word over your life so that it can be healed. At least I've been patient. I tried now. Did I not try? Yeah, I know. You tried, I know. <laughs> so, uh, you can see that I'm I But apparently, I know. your children or your child is not being handled. Like you said, don't put your hand on your stomach. I command that pain to stop forever. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From today, no more stomach pain. I declare you free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you believe this prayer? Of course I do. I've okay. been waiting for this prayer for a long time. Okay. So you are free now. It is well with you, eh? Thank you. Please, Amen. man of God, please. I just want you to speak a word. To me, because uh, first week of November is my marriage, please. <laughs> well, I just say you are free now. Which other word is there? Yes, amen, I believe. Thank you so much, man. Of so your marriage will go smoothly now. In Jesus' Thank name. Thank you very much. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It is God well with you. Thank you. So now, Thank you very much. much. All right. God bless you, sweetie. Now that we pray, no more noise. Noise on go. <laughs> Anytime I wanted to pray, the noise, all these things can be strategic. It is. Who's next? Let's pray for the next person. Hallelujah. Comment, comment, comment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I'm reading your comment. Oh, there's this lady that had the, the epilepsy. What's your name again? Comment, sweetie. Let me invite you. Someone had epilepsy, and I was asking if you want me to pray for you. Hallelujah. Um, what's her name? She said they diagnosed her with epilepsy. <laughs> somebody said, that's why I don't ask you to call me, because my kids can disturb. When somebody really needs deliverance, they they will know what to do with the kids. Hallelujah. 
Ogbapa, Ogbapa said, I watched the two parts. I just want you to speak a word over my life for total restoration. I like this kind of prayer point. Receive total restoration. Obapa, receive it now in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Do you know when we say you are free, an angel is assigned to make sure they cast out everything that is holding you back. You just believe it. Sometimes God will even allow you to see it in your dream. Like you see somebody... There was a girl that testified, Pastor Isaac is sitting near me, that my cousin prayed for her. And then when she went to sleep, she found herself in like a river. And I came and I threw a bomb in the river. And everybody scattered. And then one little boy was like, please don't leave me, I love you, I love you. (laughs) She said, but I have to go. (laughs) So after he delivered her, God showed her deliverance. And show that freedom. She, this is um, it's okay. Love, yeah. You prayed for her, you set her free, and God opened her eyes to see the deliverance. And a small boy was telling her that please don't leave me, mommy, mommy, don't leave. He didn't put mommy in. I mean, put mommy in. But Isaac is here, sitting that here. Oh my God. Okay, somebody said her name is Mecca Pearson. Mecca, comment with it. Let me call you and pray for you. Wow, Miriam says, I watched the other video that I went to Native Doctor. Hmm. Those stories are very, very interesting sometimes to know what people did before hello woman of that keep quiet miriam how are you um i'm great i'm great woman of god God bless you more thank you so much you say you were watching the other video yes i've been watching the other videos and then uh until now i've seen all the the things has been happening is this not the one that we pray for that one time that you were yes. about to go to, to go crazy and all that. How have you been feeling? You look different. I, I look different. I feel different. I'm praying more and I'm more connected to God. And I've also, Pastor Isaac also have been well praying for me. And he saw like that some spirits were coming back. But me also, I've also seen some changes. Uh, yes. Some changes. And it's this that when I... Wait, hold on. Pastor Isaac prayed for you recently. And he told you... That some spirits are coming back? Yeah, I think that's what he said. You know, like that some spirit was trying to come back and that um and that uh I went there, I was supposed to give a testimony because I had so many testimonies, but it went totally another way, which I did not um think it would go, but it went that way and and I got a blessing from it as well. Did, did but you, you don't remember this. So, but but so far you look better than the last time that we. Does anyone remember this lady? You were looking crazy, like a crazy woman. Yes, but I'm not crazy anymore, so I, I'm I'm very thankful. And and then wait, now, wait, wait. hold on. So basically, you've gotten deliverance here and there, and it's not been so long. So why am I calling you again now? For what? Because I I think I have one problem left. Because when I pray, woman of God, when I pray, I feel like in my back here, in my back, it's like, it's like wings, but it's dark. It's dark wings. And I've been praying about it because I do not understand why. So yesterday, when I was also praying... And I was, uh, I, was, uh, I was listening to the Bible study with the Pastor Isaac. And um, I just saw it, why it's happening here with me. It is happening like this because for a year, nearly two years ago, I went, I went to Africa and I met my father. My father introduced me to this native uh, doctor that... Um, that supposedly to was supposed to help me from those 
the thing that the pastor did and they have been cutting my back they've been cutting like here and here and in here and i think on the side too but i'm not sure so with those cuts but the only thing that i feel is like it's something it's like bad energy when i pray here be, behind my back over here and it's like it feels like it's a wind but it's it, it wings but it's a dark wings and i just don't know when, why when, it keep on following when you me say, when you say dark wings like you mean like a black wing you see a yeah, black no, wing. You see, yeah 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 so you, you can see feel, you, you see can feel, say sorry no i mean like you say you, you're specific you keep saying dark wings what does that mean because i i feel like angels have wings but the wings that i feel when i pray it's dark it's like black it's dark spirit is like dark spirit and that's all i can explain and then what you remember from it is the voodoo priest the mark that he put in your body that is what i came to see in my vision when i was praying yesterday why this thing is still back there and is on i knew it even myself yesterday not uh, before that or anything like that I did not know cuz i keep on asking myself why why but but how about all the other spirits that we cast out how do you feel oh, about they're them? they are long gone i'm fine i'm having like my normal blessings of god and and i see like i told you like i got a job and things are going well i just pay my tithes today i just send it to you and i was led to bless um bishop as well i did that today and wow I'm fine. yeah wow. so uh I didn't I didn't hear from you again. I didn't know you got a job. Like I'm just hearing oh, this now. I I send it like the one that you were blessing people with 100 and I was there I asked it for um for it but then I said why everything is so difficult and in the end of that day when I was typing but I was typing but actually I was praying. So in the end of that day the, so yeah you, like, so you got a job the end of that day yeah 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 That's so true. yeah everything is really looking out good for me except, what except of your, for that one what of your mother and that false prophet have you heard from them oh no woman of god but when i was praying i don't know i just felt this uh, a couple of days ago i was felt like I don't know how to say it, but I was feeling like I have to forgive them and to forgive them I will have to forgive them because I have a, a tendency of saying I forgive you but the thing is once I remember it it can go years when I remember it I'm still hurt just as it happened yesterday or now so what God led me is like to to forgive and you you also preached about forgiveness that week I remember and i just keep on praying and then finding myself praying for their behalf and praying for them as well so i i keep on praying for them in the end of the day have to forgive and the holy spirit lead me to to call them so but i i did not call but i sent it a clip i'm like i forgive you for all the things that you have done and from that moment i could sincerely pray for them with a clean heart and by the time when i was praying for the pastor i was also seeing like i i see him in the middle there's darkness inside like left side and right side and then it's like it's covering him but he's not in like in in distress about it it's okay and i was like god what am i supposed to pray this for so i just said let okay, your wait, will wait, be done wait some people don't know your story you're you're the lady that yeah. a few hold on let me tell them that a few weeks ago i prayed for you and the demon manifested that your mother took you to a church and the pastor um deceived you and started to sleep with you and got you pregnant and you did an abortion 
and you left the church only to find out that your mother is also dating the pastor and the pastor is demonic. He manipulated you and everything and him and your mother plan to make you mad and do a lot of stuff to you. So after that deliverance, all those spirits that were manifesting, they left and you became free. So now you are saying that and when we saw you that day, you were looking like a mad lady, but today you look really good. So some people... Be mad, but, yes. But now you are saying, because I'm trying to narrate it so people can catch up. So now a few days ago, God is telling you to forgive your mother and your father, and you forgave them. And as you were praying, you saw the pastor in a dark place, like he's enjoying the powers, he's enjoying wow. what he is. So he's not looking to be free. And you yeah. are wondering. Well, that's not your place. Your own place is no, as yeah. you are them. And yes. you don't feel that anymore. You are free. No, um, I am very much free. And I think I am so free as before. If I think about my mother, I feel like I just want to do things to her. But now I'm so free, like I can even make food for her or whatever. I'm just so free. Even, but even when you, I stop, when you even send I her a message, when you send her yeah? a message, you say you sent her a message that you forgave her. I sent him a message. I sent him a message on, on WhatsApp. Um, but her, I've been trying to get hold on to her because she's not married to my, my father anymore and just so much. And I've tried to call her, but every time when I call, it doesn't pass through. And at the same time, the Holy Spirit have also message, give me message to give to her and my dad. But she has to know I forgive her and then I can deliver that message, but I'm not getting them. Well, she's a, she's a, she's a witch, right? I, I, I believe she's a witch. And then I, as, as I see, in, uh, as I see in the spirit realms, it was like, it's like a generation curse. It it comes from, from, from far in our family or in her family it comes from far that's what i see in the spiritual realms and are you say, are you, wait are you say the holy spirit told you to deliver a message to the witch you sure about this or this is you i don't know i hope so i i i, I don't know but the thing is he 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 tells me that what i should do is that because she's outside the marriage and me i wanted her to like my dad to divorce her not to be with her at all because she's bad but then okay. when i was playing well, yeah. what you need to do what you need to do now is stay away from two of them you have done uh, your part you have forgiven them mm -hmm. and you don't feel bad towards them anymore no just stay away which is which is i don't know if you've been following the story with blessing jackson <laughs> yes which is you don't want to go and start up communication with them again. With them. And, no. Uh, no. Leave it like that. Leave it yes. like that. Maybe that's why the call is not going through. You understand what I mean? No. That's what okay. I mean, it's not going through. That's why I'm asking. Is it the Holy Spirit for sure? Because some of you will say, Holy Spirit. Meanwhile, it's probably you thinking. For okay. now, you are free. Live your okay. life. Stay away okay. from two of them. You've already forgiven them. But let yeah. me pray for you for that thing on your back. Because Pastor Isaac recently... Oh, I'm now. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, Pastor Isaac prayed for you. And yes, there was a deliverance. This is you, right? Yes, that's me. Yes. Yes. So which, which spirit manifested is this one? In this one, I, um, as Pastor Isaac said, it was a hiding spirit that was hiding in me because... I came there as Mariam really wanted to celebrate God, the goodness that God have done. And it just became something else from so, that so moment. You, so you came to give a testimony and another demon yeah. manifested. Yeah, yeah. And then while he was praying, I couldn't tell because I was in so shock, but uh, there's something like light came out of my, my, my mouth. It just went like... When I, I did like something, did, 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 and it just came oof out. So, and that's what happened that video. And from there on, it was just it. But now you still believe that there's still another one in your back. What, what makes you think, 
Why did that one leave when Pastor Isaac prayed? I honestly do not know, but this one, uh, um, it feels so strongly. And when I saw it yesterday, when I saw it yesterday, what it was, what it comes from, it, it comes from that mark and those dark things they were putting here. But I did not know it myself before. So it's, it's, it's like it's okay. I'm also learning. It's okay. It's just that we don't like praying for the same person over and over and over. Because we have a lot of people that we have to pray for. You I, know. What I, so I get it. So if I prayed, Pastor Isaac prayed, we're still praying. It gets boring because there's so I many know. people we have to pray for. And some of I these do. things, water deliverance or deliverance video can kick it out. I'm just saying because yeah. now we're spending much time on you again when I would have been doing it on somebody else that I've never called before. This is, not this is something that when we set you free, we set you free. Do you understand what I mean? Uh -huh. so can I just have one more? Mm -hmm. huh? You say what? Can I, can I just tell one more thing? For three weeks ago, three plus weeks ago, I, I had a dream and then I saw this one woman. Um, in my dream, it was you and two other ladies. They were like making your hair. And this lady, the other lady had something in her, in the age, like black thing tip, you know. And this lady was very young from like 25, something like that. And was making your hair. But then they were so close to you. But this lady, she like, she like um, you know, stuff like that. But then... In that thing, it was something bad. She came with a bad spirit, but you trusted her because she she's like you know her. So I, I when I wake up from that dream and then I and I ask myself, but God, how can I tell this to her? I I, I would not know how to say it to her. She's not my friend. I tried to send it and but you never accept it. So, but then I dreamed later on that you you will come to accept me. And. And that's it. So I just, and it's like, I should just say, like, you should be careful with whom, like, you buy the hair from. <laughs> These people, they get mind. Somebody will want deliverance. <laughs> they prophesy to me. Can you imagine? Oh, Somebody... no. I'm not... Don't take it's, in a bad it's way. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You talk too much. You talk too much. You don't come on my platform telling me stuff like this. You are not a prophetess. You are not a woman of God. You are someone that needs deliverance. I don't even know if God shows you anything. It could have been a devil showing you. But I'm trying to pray for you. And you stop me. You're telling me this rubbish. You can't even send it to me in my messenger. You are the one that we've been doing deliverance on. And you come on here telling me to be careful. Oh, my God. It is well with you. Bye-bye. Like, seriously, I don't like this. That's how one of you guys saw me the other day in my program where I was talking to people saying, hey, please, I want to tell you something. You see a woman of God and you want to tell them, please be careful. Do this. What is wrong with you? And I'm here trying to deliver you. Like, seriously? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You just missed it. Now you're going to have to dream and God will deliver you from that, that thing on your back. What is this? Pastor Isaac said she told him, but he refused to tell me. You didn't advise her? I'm trying to pray for this girl. He's wasting my time. I told her, my video, she talks too much. Man, you guys talk too much. She's close to you, so she did something to your hair, and then they da 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 You just missed it now. What is that? That's how one of them came to my program. Bothering me. I think she's watching. I want her to hear it. Bothering me. Bothering me. I say I'm tired. Before you know, she says, sorry. I just wanted to tell you that. God said I should tell you to be careful where you eat. In front of everybody, you were going to tell me that? You guys dream dreams and all this. Fine. But there are ways you say it. You will go to Prophet T.B. Joshua Church with your demon in you. As he's trying to deliver you. Pastor, wait, wait, wait. I saw that something is coming. Like, seriously? Man, hold yourself. You're the one that needs help right now. I'm okay. My God.
Don't do that on my platform. If you have a dream, send it to me in message. Now when I'm about to pray for you, keep talking. Talking. You should have respect for men of God. But all this nonsense dream that we don't even know who is showing it to you. My God. You don't miss it. You don't miss it big time. Be careful where you buy your hair from. How about be careful where I go to toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, this is a pain me. Eh? I just didn't want to tell me better thing. My God, she talks too much. I'm never inviting this one on my video. That's it. God bless you as well. All right, who's next? I don't have nonsense dream to tell me. Like, seriously. My God, you need help. You will not let me do it. And my cousin just passed out the come talk a bit. I told her. <laughs> I told her. She came. So it was uh, October 10th. She was on my video. And she was just talking and talking and talking. And she was trying to give an impression. She's a woman of God kind of impression. And those things irritate me. If you come for help, keep everything you know. Let God help you. And she was talking and talking. The Holy Spirit told me this. The Holy Spirit, shut up. Just keep quiet. Even if you know, pretend like you don't know and get your deliverance. When she opened like, one more thing, I just knew, oh my God. Because she told me this thing and wanted me to tell the woman. Like I, said, I wasn't going to tell her that nonsense. What do you mean by, <laughs> do, do you know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> like, they go, don't see, like, go prophet TB Joshua. So, sorry, sorry, I had a dream. Be careful though, don't eat fufu mm -hmm. this afternoon. What do you mean by that? They will kick you out of that place. You only need to have respect. Nothing. And if you have a dream, send it to me in my messenger. People always send me dreams. Yeah, but not when, don't do that. You're a woman of God, yet I delivered you from madness and all these things. And my cousin delivered you again two weeks ago. And now you want me to deliver you. Let me deliver you. You won't let me. Keep talking. Oh, irritating me. I don't even know why I invited this one. It is well. It's never again. It's done. You don't miss it. And then you say, Holy Spirit told you to contact your mother. I, I didn't hear that when I was when you were talking. I heard beware from all of them. But since it's the Holy Spirit you are hearing, go and call them. Witches will start again. <laughs> I, that's why I asked. I said, Are you sure it's the Holy Spirit that told you this thing? He said, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. You see, if I know that the Holy Spirit told me something, I'm going to stick to it. I'll tell you it's the Holy Spirit that told me that. I'll tell you it's the Holy Spirit. Another thing that you guys do that I don't get it. Some of you like to form woman of God, man of God. Two days ago, one of you, she messaged me a long message. I don't know if she's watching, but I wish she is so she can listen to it. She said, woman of God, please, I don't know if I qualify for this. Give me that. Okay. It's time to block that one, I mean. Please, if you have any negative comment, put it on now. Let me help you out and block you. <laughs> if you have any negative comment, just comment it now so I can help you out and block you. You can go to your, um, your own page and rant. Begin to put it now, now. Quick, quick. Let me help you and block you. But this is my platform. My rule is my rule. If you are a prophet or prophetess, just do your own page. Do your own video. I will never come there. So I will never be on there to insult you. But if you have any negative comments, just comment it quick, quick, all of it. Let me help you and block you. So this lady sent me a message two days ago telling me that she wants she wants to see she qualifies for the the people that will get the hundred dollars because i'm giving 100 people hundred dollars right i've so far i've given i think 83 or 84. so when she sent me the message saying that she wants to see she qualified saying she has not been able to have a job or something and that her children are daughters her daughters don't have, their underwear don't fit anymore. And she doesn't have, um, what's it called? Um, they, they don't have jackets for the cold. You understand? She said her daughters, their underwear don't fit. Right? Listen to this. It's very important for you guys to learn. 
little girls don't have underwears that um, fit. Let me see. Yeah. It is well. <laughs> All these agents of darkness coming on my video to come become relevant. Not only do I block you physically, I fire you spiritually too. So she said they don't her daughters don't have underwears that fit them and they don't have jackets for the winter. And I felt compassion for her. And I didn't even argue anything because of what I read. I said, send me your PayPal. She sent her PayPal information. And before you know, I sent her the hundred dollars. And she made number 80, I think, of the people I'm giving hundred bucks. She started thanking me. Thank you so much. I received it. Like 10 minutes later, she messaged me. She said, woman of God, as I was just watching your video, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit told me that the hundred dollars you just gave me, that I should sow it into Pastor Isaac's program in New York, that I shouldn't worry about buying my children's clothes. I should sow it into Pastor Isaac's program in New York so he can. I say, what? That's not what you told me for, that you want the money for. Over 10 people have told me they need $100 to sow to Pastor Isaac's program. And I refuse to give them. You told me that your children don't have underwear to wear and they don't have jacket. I sent it. And now you're telling me the Holy Spirit told you that? I said, right now I'm so pissed off. This, this don't make no sense. I said, that's not God. She said, God said, I said, nope, that's not God, sweetie. God did not tell you that. The reason I gave you the money was for your children to buy underwear. And for, to wear, have underwear and jacket. Not for you to manipulate me to give you money. To, for you to call, so to my cousin to call you and pray for you. What is this? Immediately, my cousin saw the money on his paper and he was grieved. Because when she sent the message, he was sitting with me. And I was reading it out loud and he was like, oh my God, he felt sorry for her. So seeing that she was sending the money to him, it grieved him. I called Pastor Isaac. I said, Pastor Isaac, please. Send this money back to this lady. She wants it for her kids. She said, I'm sorry. Um, like people always confuse the Holy Spirit and their own thinking. This is not right. Don't do this. Stop doing this. Like stop doing this. So many people commented on that post that they want money to sow to Pastor Isaac. My comment was those that are desperately in need. I will give 100 people 100 bucks. This is my money. $10,000 of my money to help people desperately in need. When you hear you, somebody's children are in need, of course, that's something that will move anybody. But when you now hear that the money that I gave you for your kids, you want to use it to sow. Pastor Isaac is not looking for that kind of money. I was so pissed. I said, that's not God that spoke to you. I'm sorry. Stop calling the Holy Spirit here, Holy Spirit there. You understand what I mean? This is your intention all along. And you had to use your kids to touch my heart to do it. I was so upset. She said she's sorry. Pastor Isaac sent her the money back right away. Please, you guys should not. First of all, I'm a woman of God. I'm just blessing you. I'm blessing you. I don't. Some people that I even gave that money, they've never given offering to my ministry before. Never. Some of them don't even plan to ever give me offering. Which is fine with me. But I'm in my own kind that I'm blessing people. And then they'll be manipulating, lying, using Holy Spirit, using God. We hear so many things. Some people will come and say, God told me I should tell you this and that. But they're asking me for prayer. My dear, God did not speak to you. It's a demon, the demon in you that I need to cast out that is speaking to you. Don't be listening to everybody that you see. Some people have demons speaking to them 24-7. They will come and tell you, God told them this. It was not God, my dear. It was a spirit, evil spirit. My God, I think, I didn't want to address it, but when, now that this girl came on and did this crap, I had to say it. Be careful when you're talking to me or my cousin or anointed people. Be careful how you use the Holy Spirit. Be sure that it's a, like me, I have some followers that always say Holy Spirit. Once they mention Holy Spirit, 
I don't try to advise myself. Oh, you've already heard from the Spirit of God. So what do you need me for? They'll say, well, I'm not sure again. You are not sure that it's the Holy Spirit again. Are you sure? One lady, she doesn't watch me anymore. This woman, eh? One day, she sent me a message. She said, woman of God, Holy Spirit told me that you are angry at me. You remember this one? Yeah. <laughs> My God. Me, I was not angry at this woman, no. I didn't have any problem with this woman, no. Ah, I, I was just minding my business, doing my live videos. She sent me a message, say, Holy Spirit just told me that you're angry at me. That I just want to tell you that the post that I put on my page is not you I'm talking about. I'm talking about some other pastors. It's not you. I said, what are you talking about? She said, I'm sorry. Holy Spirit just told me now that you're angry at me. I said, why would I be angry at you? She said, because of the post that I post on my page. It's not you I'm talking about. It's some other pastors I'm talking about. I said, what post? So I now went to her page to look. I said, I don't see any post. She said, no, I just want you to know it's not you because I know what the Holy Spirit told me. I said, now you're beginning to piss me off. Which Holy Spirit? I, was not, I said, I was not angry before, but now I'm angry because now you got me angry. She said, no. I said, I don't even see the post. Can you show me the post you're talking about? I said, you are a liar. Holy Spirit didn't tell you nothing. So all the time you're claiming woman of God, woman of God on Facebook, preaching and deceiving people. You don't even hear from the Spirit of God. I was minding my business. Maybe it's me you were talking about. Maybe your conscience, your conscience, they blame you. That's why you told me this thing. So, so all this why you're not hearing from Holy Spirit. It's a demon that has been speaking to you. I said, well, now I'm mad at you. You got that right? Because you lied. You used the name of the Spirit of God to lie. She said, I'm sorry. Eh, eh, I thought you were mad at me. You thought. Why didn't you say, woman of God, are you mad at me? Why you got to put the name of the Holy Spirit in this one? Sometimes if you feel like you're feeling something, just ask. Don't put God said, Holy Spirit said. Just say it straight up. Don't try to pin it to Holy Spirit and God. It's not right. You understand what I mean? We should learn how we use our words. Don't be using Holy Spirit and this thing to deceive people. If you're thinking something, I'm thinking this thing. This is what I'm thinking. Finish. Don't deceive people. Say, oh God, say, Holy Spirit, say that. And Angel Michael told you, Angel Gabriel, holy, holy. Angel Gabriel, holy. Ha, ja, Jehovah, ja, told me. Ha, 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 It is where. Oh yeah, it's time to pray for the next person. When I call you, please don't talk too much. I want to pray. Because some of you talking too much, I feel like they are sending you guys to drain my anointing. This is my third video. I'm looking for praying to pray for somebody. Somebody talk for almost 30 minutes. Come vex me again. My God. If you know you don't talk too much and you need me to pray for your air comments. If you talk too much, go and watch 39 minute deliverance video. My God. Ja, Jehovah, ja. <laughs> hey, my God. My God, stop using the name of the Holy Spirit to lie, Biko. It is well. No problem. It is well. Oh, yeah. Who's next? Comment, 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 comment. And if you have negative comment, please. You are free to comment too. Why the guy allowed like this? Now? <laughs> you know me, you know they pain me. Just comment. I will help you out. And I'll block you. Yeah, that's right. You got a negative thing to say. Like me, I respect my page. I don't come out. I don't come to nobody's page to comment. I walk away. But if you know they fear, you come my page, they can't write all these things. Eh? Okay. Uh we'll help you out to block you. <laughs> That's right. It is well. Oh yeah. Comment. I'm still waiting. Oh, if you don't talk too much, oh, if you talk too much, please hold it. Cause this is my third video. I'm about to do twelve hours. I don't want to sleep off here. Okay. There was somebody I was supposed to pray for Mecca something. Um. Uh,
Mary in Gong. You say you have serious spiritual husband. Oh, Mecca piercing. You're still here. She said, I don't talk too much. <laughs> Mecca piercing. She said, I don't talk too much. Okay, sweetie. Let me finish with Mary and then we'll do your own. Ah, uh, Mary, what happened to your network now? Hey, it's froze, though. Mary in Gong. Eh? All right. It's not. Because it's not working, Mary, I'm going to pray for you. Yeah? I'll pray that from today, you will never have that spiritual husband attack again. You are free in too much. Thank God. It is well. He said, you're the one that says, uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> God bless you, sweetie. And Hello. you say you don't, talk, you don't talk too much. No, I, I don't. <laughs> 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 So what is wrong with you? You said something about epilepsy. Tell me the story. Yeah, so um, in 2015, I was in the military. Um, I just got out in 2016. Um, but in 2015, I got really, really sick. Um, I was on a gun range um, going to do like a rifle qualification for the military. And um, it was early in the morning. And I just remember just completely passing out. Now, for me, I thought that, you know, because it's normal for people to do that if they're like too cold or too hot. So I just thought I was like a heat case or I was just too cold. But when I woke up in the ambulance, they told me that I had a seizure. And I was very confused because before that I was perfectly healthy. Literally nothing was wrong with me. You know, I barely even got sick. So for them to tell me that, you know, I had a seizure it was just mind boggling. So um, when I had my first seizure, I passed out, woke up in the ambulance. And then for the next month, I was having, you know, seizures in my sleep. I could barely walk, could barely talk. Um, it was like I was a vegetable. They weren't sure exactly what happened, how it happened. They weren't even sure if I was going to get better. But, you know, because I'm a child of God, you know, I just prayed to God, you know, when I was conscious I guess um and just let them know you know if you deliver me or if you heal me or make me better I promise that I'll be more devoted and all that good stuff but since 2015 I have been on medication um to pretty much keep my seizures um under control so um my last major seizure was in 2015 but I still have my, like my little spells where I could um like I would feel one trying to come on but I assume because of the medication that I'm on, I don't actually have a full-blown seizure. But I can still feel like one is trying to come on. When you say trying to come on, like how do you know? Um, so before I have a seizure, I will feel like out of place or I'll feel like tingly um, or like my right leg will tingle. Like I will kind of sort of like um, feel like, like I will pass out, um, so to say. But because of my medication um, that I'm on, I feel as though, you know, it's stopping me from actually passing out in the shaking and things like that. Um, and then when they diagnosed me with epilepsy, um, they told me that I have two forms of epilepsy. So um, it's one called pseudo seizures where I'm conscious I don't pass out or anything, but my body just shake. And they said that can be like stress induced or from anxiety and things like that. But then I also have actual epilepsy where I pass out. And, you know, my body shakes and I'm unconscious for a little while. And this just happened just like that while you were in the military. Yep. Just like that. Yep. yep. And nobody, nobody in your family has that stuff? Um, No. So we, um, at first we didn't know, but my mom has actually been sick over the past like three months. And um, it actually came up that she, um, when she was a little girl, maybe around like seven, um, she used to have seizures, but she grew out of them. So we're not oh. too sure if it was, you know, something that could have been passed on or something, you know, that actually just happened out of the blue. Because like I said, like, you know, of course, you know, we had no clue. So we're still kind of not sure. It's still kind of fuzzy as, you know, as far as my mom goes. So your medicine that you take, is that like a daily medication? Yes, I'm supposed to take it twice a day. So you've been doing that for how many years now? Uh, Three. It's going on three. Wow. So even as you're there now, you've taken one medicine today? 
I haven't taken it yet, but I <laughs> it's time for me to take it. I do have to take it. Wow. So when we pray for you, how do you know you're healed? Because you're still going to be taking the medicine, right? Um, I mean, I guess if I hear from God, um, it depends, you know, how I feel. Like I told you, you know, um, <laughs> um, it's just um, if I don't feel one coming on, if that makes sense. Because like I said, I can feel when it's coming on, you know, throughout the day or, you know, I'm not having the feeling every day. So, so when I pray for you, you have to wait to see if one will come on. I will, you know, pretty much. I mean, if you pray for me, I'm already going to believe that I'm delivered. No doubt. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, I just have that faith and I have that belief that, you know, once I get prayed for, you know, for the delivery. That's what I was asking. So if I yeah. pray for you now. Would you take the medicine or you would you would not take it? No. I probably won't take it. Probably. Because <laughs> because when we pray when we pray for you, like somebody that is so addicted to taking their medicine. Yeah. When we pray and they keep taking medicine, what's the point of praying? How are you gonna know that you're healed? Right. You just I mean, it. I won't know I'm, uh, if I'm healed unless I stop taking it. So by you praying for me, you know, I'm sure I'll stop taking it. I've been waiting a very long time for this moment, a very long time for this moment. You actually delivered my sister. Um, I think it was maybe like a month or two ago. Um, her name was Kenya. And when you delivered her, the demon was speaking through her pretty much saying that our aunt had pretty much sacrificed me and the rest of my sisters, I guess, up to the devil. Um so when you deliver her. Your sister is Kenya. Is it the one without the, the teeth in the front of her? Correct. Oh, that's your sister? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think she was watching earlier today. Is she still on? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think she's still on. But oh, um, Okay, this is her. Okay. She says she, she say you are not addicted to the medicine. No, you I'm want not addicted. To... No, I'm not at all addicted to my medicine. Like, I <laughs> I dread taking my medicine. That's honestly why I haven't taken it yet. I honestly, I dread taking it. I dread taking it. I hate taking it. You know, to be a completely healthy person and then to have to take medication every day consistently or, you know, there's no telling what could happen is, yeah, I'm not okay, addicted my, to it. My, my thing is, when I pray for people, they get healed. But when I pray for, like, there was a lady that was taking 30 pills in Jacksonville. And when I prayed for her, she threw out all her pills. She was healed. Yeah. So yeah. now, what if she went back to say, well, let me just be taking it. And then maybe if I don't get, see, if I don't feel any, do you get where I'm coming from? So if I pray yeah, for you. Yeah, I, no, I, I completely understand uh, where you're, where you're coming from as far as that goes. Um, but, I believe... it's, okay, it's okay, sweetie. You've already told me everything. So you have yeah. faith that when I pray for you now, you'll be healed. And that seizure is over. Yes. Yeah. And you will not need those medicine again. I believe that I will not have to take the medicine anymore at all. Okay. And the lady, your sister, you said when I was doing the deliverance, I forgot what all that was said, but you said the demon said they sacrificed you to something? Yes. Um, it's a total of four of us. Um, it's, uh, my sister Kenya, as you know, then it's three others, but, um, when you deliver her, the demon spoke through her and pretty much said that our aunt, um, Bonnie had sacrificed us, all of the sisters. Okay. That makes sense. So that's why you are going through and you were in the military because of that. You had to leave, right? You couldn't. Correct. So pretty much right now, because of what happened, you're not able to like achieve some of your dreams. Pretty much. Um, it's a lot of restrictions because if I do certain stuff, it could trigger a seizure. So I have to be extremely cautious as what I do or how upset I get or how stressed out I get um, and things like that. So it's a lot of things that I can't do that I have to be watchful for. So you are, I see. So how are you feeling now that you're talking to me? Um, even when you were trying to call me earlier, I was, <laughs> I feel something. I don't know what it is. You know, I feel, you know, just like a little, I guess, nervous. But, but now, how do you feel now? Term. How do you feel now? Um, still nervous, a little, um, a little jittery, nervous kind of feeling. What if I, what if I told you that the demon 
the seizure is a demon and when I cast it out, you are free. I will because believe it and I will be I will be so happy. <laughs> so happy. Put your right so hand happy. on your forehead. Close your eyes. Don't don't even think that people are watching you. Just feel like I'm the only one with you in that room and Jesus is there. Say, Jesus, deliver me seven times slowly from your heart. Jesus, deliver me. 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 How do you feel? Don't open your eyes. Just tell me. Um, my heart is beating like mm -hmm. really fast. Really fast. Do it one last time. Seven times slowly. Jesus, deliver me. 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 Holy Ghost, fire. Just keep quiet. All over your body. Angels, pour pockets of fire on this one. You spirit of seizure. Your time is up. It's time for you to go. Fire all over your body. Mm -hmm. You spirit of witchcraft. That witch that is tormenting you, fire all over you. Fire in your back, your belly, your hand, your eyes, all over your body. Make this body very hot and uncomfortable. You that is trying to destroy her life, fire all over you. Out in the name of Jesus. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Rase Fire all over your body. Fire. More fire, more fire, more, more. Whatever they sacrifice you to, ha, I bring you out of that place now. I free you in the name of Jesus. More fire, you demon. Your time is up. Fire, 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 fire. Remove everything you put on this one. Remove it. Remove that sickness. You want to end her life, eh? make her miserable. Remove it. Take it off. That spirit of seizure. Remove everything. Remove your thing. Take your property away. Out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. More fire. More. Fire all over the house. Fire on everything you own. Fire. I'm going to use you as a point of contact to deliver all your family. All of them that they've put in whatever bondage. Fire on them now. Fire. 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 Come out of her. Come out of her, you demon. Rekasi palika tosia and the angel. Get ready. On the count of three, you will chop off the head of this demon. And whoever did this to you, I say back to sender in the name of Jesus. They will begin to confess wherever they are. They will begin to confess wherever they are. Angel, get that sword ready. My <laughs> angel will chop off the head of this demon. And everybody else in your family will be free too. On the count of three. One. <laughs> two. Three. Chop off the head of this demon. Out of her. Out in the name of Jesus. Back to hell. Where you belong. I declare you free. In Jesus name. I declare your family free. From today you will never have seizures again. You will not need that medicine. You are free. You are healed. Your destiny is restored. You will come back here testifying. That demon has gone to hell where it belongs. In Jesus name.
Amen. Remove your hand from your head. Oh, Jesus. What was happening to you? I'm not I'm not um sure. Um I just know when I heard you talking and um I feel like shortness of breath like very uh shortness of breath breath um i feel like i needed to cough um like my mouth was very very dry um mm -hmm. well how do you feel now i feel good i feel um i feel relieved i feel very yeah. relieved you are i'm still a little shaky but i guess it's you know the nervousness but i feel really good and relieved you are free don't take that medicine again Oh, you I'm will. not. I'm going to throw it out right now. <laughs> I'm not. And you will come back and give this testimony. Yes, ma'am. It is well Thank with you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. My God. Wow. Hallelujah. That was a demon. I remember her sister. Wow. Wow. Michael's phone. Making that noise. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Say her throat was dry. All right. Yeah. I make it Whenever I'm praying for somebody, you can tap into the prayer. And if you believe, you will be set free. Hallelujah. Yes, I love him. Oh. 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 If there's anybody else going through the same thing she's going through. Or she was going through because she's free now. That's right. Those are demons. They just want to wreck people's lives. So they don't achieve what they're supposed to achieve in life. Make sure you share this video. Invite somebody to watch. They'll be blessed. There could be somebody out there that needs this. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Comment, comment, comment. You see how the devil is trying to mess up people, young lady like that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, pray for me. I need a prophecy right now. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> they say, pray for me. I need a prophecy right now. Sweetie, you're on the wrong place. I don't prophesy. I'm not a prophetess. Do I look like one to you? I'm sorry, sweetie. I wish I had a prophecy for you. Abby, do you have one for me? <laughs> they say, pray for me. I need a prophecy. I don't get no prophecy for you. You got one for me. <laughs> Do you have a prophecy for me? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Professor. I bet no vex. I need to do that one, eh? I don't just look at you and prophesy. I can't even look at myself and prophesy. <laughs> it's a prophesy. Prophesy, mama. <laughs> You want me to lie to you? I don't see anything. I know they see nothing. I don't see nothing. <laughs> what do you see for me? <laughs> what the... <laughs> That's how some people get some false prophecy. Say, what do you see? What do you see? I see you eating fufu and okra soup. Oh, yeah? Move. 
<laughs> oh my God! They, <laughs> they prophesy. I beg you. You see anything for me to? Eh, I don't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I see somebody in the village pursuing you with cane. <laughs> I see poverty. <laughs> they like to see this. Thing. I see your grandmother is tall. <laughs> Pastor Isaac is here. Is here laughing any? <laughs> People like prophecy. Eh? I. They will make you say something. I see the enemy is camping around your your, your camp. <laughs> You know, they are camping around you. I see a camp, military camp. <laughs> I'm not leaving this ball. I'm You will get prophecy today. Come, let me prophesy. <laughs> Do you have a river behind your house? <laughs> Do you have a stream there? <laughs> oh, no, no. I see, I see something like a bucket. You put what I need. <laughs> by fire, by force. <laughs> the spirit of death. Oh, the spirit of death. You need to sow a seed. Five hundred. I see the spirit of death. Eh, spirit of death. Did you did you have somebody just die last month to your family? No, not last month, Papa. Last year. Oh, last year. Oh, <laughs> you see the same thing. Somebody died. <laughs> Oh, last year, somebody did die now. What are you saying? <laughs> Papa, Papa, no, it was not last month. Papa, last year. Are you trying to say I'm not seeing it? You see the same thing? <laughs> Papa, Papa, no. <laughs> oh, my God. People like prophecy. That's how you guys enter the wrong things. You don't see somebody prophesy to me. Why? <laughs> Why, <was I> prophet? <laughs> Why for what? <laughs> oh my God! That's why they're using my name to scam people. They will be messaging you guys with fake name, fake page, saying they see something around. They see you doing well, but they see the enemy, and you guys fall for it. And I don't even roll like that. A lot of people fall for this scam as well. They will say they see they see something trouble coming your way. Before uncle. Trouble come everybody way every single day. I see trouble all the time. <laughs> There's trouble everywhere. <laughs> my God. Ah, my my bishop is a major prophet. Even that said, he will not just see you and start talking anyhow. He doesn't just see you and prophesy. You know, like he's led by the spirit. But these people will see you, they'll say, please prophesy to me, mama. Prophesy to why? Why? I know you guys are laughing there. They dear now. I see it. I see your bank account. Send the money here. Let, in fact, let me give you my PayPal. I see money there. Send it to my account. Uh -huh. Look at that. They say they are laughing. <laughs> you see, we like to have fun here now. <laughs> it's true. A lot of people fall for all this thing because of prophecy. These people that don't even see anything, they will come and lie to you that they are seeing things before you know. You will start sending money to them, start doing this because of prophecy. They'll put fear in you like this. You'll be afraid. Please. When the real prophets prophesy, they speak a word and everything changes. These old prophets of doom, they prophesy and they put fear in you. Nothing changes. The situation is still the same. It's even worse. I beg. It is well. All right. This person... Kameta, Kameta. I see you comment a lot. Let me see if we can invite you. Like you comment all the time and you're always watching. So let's see what's wrong with you today. I just invited you. I pray it goes through it. Eh? Hallelujah. Oh, it didn't go through. Oh, Kameta, try. Sorry. Oh. It is well. What is it? We love you so much. God bless you. Lying. When you see the true prophets, you will know. When you see them, you will know. They, they, you will know. And whenever they prophesy, they are trying to get to something. And they break the course. They stop these things from happening. But there are some that they do it for entertainment. They just do it. And it's like people are still sick. People are still 
I see this, I see that, but the condition is still there. Ah, ah, you see it, okay, you see it. I have, I have destroyed the thing now. You are seeing it, but you are not doing anything. Eh, what kind of thing is this? I beg, don't see it if you are not going to fix it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stella Gab, he said, the doctor said your blood pressure is high. Receive instant healing right now. I command your blood pressure to go back to normal. In Jesus' name. Just shout, Amen. And it's done. Hallelujah. Sorry. You guys, we needed to laugh a little bit now, you know. We've been here. This is going to 12 hours on Facebook. Uh, it's good to be a Kametal, I invited you now. But the thing did not go through. What happened? Kamet. For some reason, I like your name. Wow. My God. Hey, Mom. Hi, Mom. How are you? Yes, Mom. How are you? God bless you. Yes, Mom. How are you? Good. Kamet Thank you, Mom. I always Thank do you, your Mom. Sometimes you comment yes. and comment and comment. How are you doing? Oh, my God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing better. Not, not that fine. And I, I need daily violence, ma'am. What is wrong with you? A spirit of, uh, I can see, a spirit of um, Saint Ben, uh, rejection and oh, failures so, and. Where are you from? Where are you from? From Namibia. Are you watching from Namibia? Yes, I'm watching from Namibia, ma'am. In Namibia, you guys don't wear t-shirts. No, we... <laughs> I was <laughs> just going, bro. <laughs> you don't wear shirt in, Nam in Namibia because... Or are you trying to look sexy for us? My... Go wear shirt now. What no, is no, 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 no. <laughs> No, I was just coming from work, and then now I came to the sitting room. <laughs> then I start. <laughs> go, go. I wear shirt now. You want to try to make me like your body? I'll be waiting. <laughs> I'm going out. <laughs> go <away. laughs> I'm looking at you. You are just holding your body, using hand to rub yourself. Wear shirt, oh, people. <laughs> Comment. Yeah, Today no. we've called you. Do we share? You don't know there are too many women I'm here so, watching. You so start making us like your chest. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you invite me today. I was wait. I can't. I was waiting for this day. It is, it is well. It is well. So today is my. So you've been watching. You've been watching for how long? Because I started seeing your name recently. So. Oh. I I sometimes when I go to work because we are restricted we can't go with phones. When I came back I saw I I find Mama was live and I'm so disappointed. I only used to watch like in the night. If you are like in the night, you came in the night, then I can watch. So right now you want me to pray for you, for the spirit of stagnation to leave you. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And what else? Um. Uh, the spirit of uh, rejection and disappointment, Mama. I went through this. Wait, wait, wait. People are rejecting you. Sorry. Network. Are you there? Hmm? Sorry. What happened to your network? Yeah. yeah are you yeah, sleeping? Yeah. You say, you no, say, no, wait, I'm people... not sleeping. No, no, no. You you froze for a minute, but you're back. I think you're back. I think you should move to another section, maybe. Try your network. Oh. Yeah. Your network. Oh. Yeah, my network. Okay, it's fine better now. now. It's fine. It's only. Okay, you see. Someone was trying. You say to... wait. You say people. Yes, yes. Call you. Okay. You say rejection. Explain what rejection is like. You're rejected where? How? Hey, rejected. Uh, Mama is like, uh, hey, I'm planning to get married and, and 
people are just disappointing and oh i don't know <laughs> so, so fine guy like you no no woman wants to marry you no well, they do but uh, i don't know whether uh, it's uh, somebody's behind i don't know i don't know mama like seriously i just see it <laughs> that even you you are laughing <laughs> Even as you're opening your chest like this, it's not working. Hey, Damuno. Ah, yeah, yeah. So what happened? So you start to date them and suddenly it doesn't work out or what? Yeah, it's like when I proposed for marriage and things went to, uh, to the last, just to the last minute. You just stopped. I thought it's only, I thought it's only happened with women. I didn't know it happened with men too. I'm just saying, because I, I pray for so many women that go through this. It's like the first no, no, thing. No, it also happened to men, and you just see like you were fine, fine for many years, and end of the day you decide, oh, let's just do this, and you even went up to that extra mile and don't go to the parents, and when you come back after two weeks, you just think things are just disappear. You don't know what is going on. Wow, so it's a lot of. Do you see? Do you see anybody sleeping with you in your dream, like spiritual wife, like a woman? Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's true. It's true. It's true, Mama. People are it's like spiritual. You see, someone is want to sleep with you in the night. So this this spiritual wife sleeping with you. Like how long has it been since you've been going through this? Um, it's um, it's almost now. Um, I think it's uh two years. So. Two years, three years back. So, so now you know. Whenever you have spiritual wife, she blocks everything. She doesn't want you to, to marry. So that she's probably the one causing the whole stagnation, rejection. Yeah. And what, what, what did the other one? You say stagnation, rejection, and what else did you say? And 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 failures, and failures. Um, um, I sometimes whenever it's like um. I propose for something like I want to go and study and, and things are not going well. Like I'm refusing and oh, it's it wake is, and, and so now so now if I pray for you now, eh? Yes. Yes, you yes, will yes, believe man. that things will change. I receive. Oh, I receive mama like serious. I was waiting for this. I receive. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh. God. Oh, Mama, I can't tell. I know, I believe. I Hallelujah. Believe Mama, like it. It's good once you I believe, believe. it will happen. So now, do you have somebody that you're talking to that you want to marry? Yes, there's someone that it, uh, Mama, I someone that I stay with for seven years, Mama, and I went to the parents and we decided we have to go in for introduction and the person is after a week. I just see the person is just this 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 year, Mama. Like I think no, I mean, five, like, uh, three. Like, like three so, you have day. somebody. You still have the person is. You still love the person, and the person is still single. Like I mean, like when I pray so for you, do you already have somebody. Papa, I, ma Mama, I really love that person so much, and and she's no no communication. I don't know what is wrong. It's just conclusion things that is So, so she loves you. Too. She loved you too, but yeah, she loved... yes, she did. But but I don't know now. It's it's like people are trying to to come in and or someone is behind her or something. But we stay for almost seven years. I think I can remember. Okay, so when we pray for you now, are you ready for me to pray for you now? Yes, I'm 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 ready. I'm re I'm free, Mama. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to. I really want your player, like seriously. <laughs> All right, just close your eyes, put your right hand on your forehead. Okay. Is that your right hand? <laughs> Come with that. Do it like this, not like this, so that I can see your face. And, uh, you've been watching the video when I deliver people, right? You've been seeing it. Yes. Okay. Just take a deep breath. Good. Relax, because Jesus is going to set you free today. Now, you say this slowly. You say this slowly. 
Jesus, deliver me. You say it seven times from your heart. You mean it. Go ahead. Say it. Jesus, deliver me. 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 How do you feel after saying it? Don't open your eyes. Just say it. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I'm feeling okay, Mama. I normally used to have even a spirit of fear. I don't know what is that spirit of fear that is affecting me. Okay, do it one more time. Jesus, deliver me. 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 Don't say anything. Close your eyes. Just stay focused. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Don't say anything. Fire from your head to your toe. You spirit wife, it's time for you to go. Fire. 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 Um, hold on. Have you gone to any voodoo place before? Medicine man in the past. Kameta. Yes. You did? Yes. Mm. Tell me about it. As I'm praying, I just heard medicine man. Go ahead. I need to hear that one. No, no, it um, it happened like this, Mama. It um, it um, I was um, just going through the same uh, situation, having many cases following me and at work and and. Well, how, how 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 long ago was this? Uh, I think it's um, seven, eight years back. And what did they do to you when you went? Yeah, what they what actually happened, they just give me things that um, I need to drink. Mm. So you yeah. had some, they gave you some things to drink, and what else did they give you? Yeah, it's only those that I need to drink, and, 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 and yeah, it's only those that I need to drink. And, and after you drank, it, did your situation get better? Well, the situation is not getting better, and it's not getting better. And that's the only time you went, or you've been to several ones? No, no, no. That's only the time that it. Uh, I went. I, I stopped when I decided, no, this is not working to me. I decided, no, I'm not this. I don't want to go anymore. Actually, yes, I was just in, um, instigated by a friend. So, uh, was there like any like agreement? This. When you went there, did you guys make any kind of agreement? Was there any agreement? Do you remember what the voodoo guy said? Or the, did you was there any kind of agreement that you made? Ah uh, no, uh, there is no other agreement that I make. I can't remember. Can't remember. They just gave you something to take and drink. Yeah, only something to drink and yeah, something to drink. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Father. All right, close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Don't say anything. Let me pray. Fire all over that house. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire. That thing they gave you to drink. Fire in your belly, in your system. You spirit of stagnation, spirit of rejection, spirit of frustration, hatred, spiritual wife. You spirit of that voodoo priest. Tormenting this man to fire on you. Fire. Angels, make his body very hot and uncomfortable right now. In the name of Jesus, more fire. That shrine that you visited, fire in that shrine too. In fact, I destroy that shrine right now. In the name of Jesus, more fire. 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 
Now, come out of him now. Pack all your things and leave. Remove everything that you've put in him. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Whatever spell that is working against you, that they cast on you, I destroy the power of that spell right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever they gave you to eat, to drink, I command it to be flushed out of your system now. I command it to come out of your system. Pee, poop, vomit, cough, yawn, sneeze, burp. Out of him now. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. Rase palebo siki handaha. Rekandelebo siende rabo si praha. Angels, begin to locate all these demons. Tormenting him. Making him miserable. Frustrating him. Making him to be rejected. Take all of them out. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I'm going to cut off the head of those demons. On the count of three. One, two, three. Out, all of you. In Jesus' name. I declare you free. In the name of Jesus. No more rejection. No more spiritual life. No more stagnation. No more frustration. Your destiny is restored. In the name of Jesus. And that lady that you love, that you were with for seven years, right now, wherever she is, she will be restless until she gets in contact with you. And you two will get married. And you will come back here and you will give this testimony. She is your destined wife. As I have said it, so shall it be in Jesus' name. You are free. Get up and move your hand from your head. Tell me how you feel. Oh, um, feeling so. Okay, I was a bit like shivering when you were busy playing. So I was a bit shivering, like in, even on my feet, I was a bit like feeling so shivering. shivering. But how do you feel now? No, no, no. I'm, I'm. I feel like I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. My eyes is open so nicely. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm feeling so now. My mom's so happy, like seriously. I'm very happy for you to play for me. I was waiting for your player, like seriously. I saw many testimony, but hey, I was I was attacking and every day I have to I have to put more messages and try to comment. Thank you it so much, well. Mama Lydia. You have to come back Thank and you. give a testimony. She will contact you Thank soon. You. And you will get will married. Come, will, and things will work will out come, for you. It is well Thank with you. you. Jesus. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye. Amen. Wow. I thought it was women that go through this. It's good to see that it's not just women. Hallelujah. All right. He said, I comment. I put extra comments. <laughs> he was always commenting a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Today, it looks like we're seeing a lot of men now. Men, you're beginning to love this ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got men loving this ministry now. Thank you, Jesus. Comment, comment. Let us pray for the next person. Tell us what's wrong with you. Wow. Hallelujah. Then make it all. Yes, Lord. Yes, shall love the Lord. Yeah, yeah. I'm reading your comments. So this is we've already spent one hour thirty my god, I'm going to ten hours already. I'm not even tired or sleepy. It's amazing. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha. My mom is... That's right, mama. My mom just responded to somebody. Prince... Who is this Prince Chiga? My mother said, you are too wise to be on this platform. Just so you know, people are here for deliverance because of the religion of your forefathers. <laughs> Body, oh. If you are still... If you are still holding on to that belief, we consider you to be an agent. Get off this platform. Hey, who be this Prince Chiga? That name, sir. 
Mama, that my mother had to respond to this one. Let me see. My mother hardly responded, but if she responded, then it must be bad. Though. Pastor, you see the comment? What did the person say? Oh, he said, how can a woman pray for somebody? Wow. Prince Chiga, is it Nigerian person? Oh, it's not Nigerian. We won't say Kedu Kwan Odema. How are you? Oh my God. Wow. Jange Peter said, You are a true woman of God. When you were praying, I saw an angel standing over you. God bless you, sweetie. May God open the rest of their everybody's eyes so they can see the angels too. Hallelujah. All right, let's go to the next person. Uh huh. Wow. I'm reading the comments. Thank you, Jesus. Sedna Scott, you say you want God to heal you from high blood pressure and from diabetes. Right now, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. No more high blood pressure. No more diabetes in Jesus' name. As I said it, I just saw an angel running to you right now, rushing to you. Just believe it. You start to feel heat somewhere in your chest, like heat. Like heat in your chest. This is for Sedna Scott. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hakuna Matata. You say, woman of God, please pray for very coarse veins on the outside of my feet to disappear. I command those veins, I don't know how to pronounce them, to disappear right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Jabba says, I need deliverance from... Jabba, I thought I prayed for you the other day. I'm actually surprised when you comment because I, I thought you didn't want to be on the video. Let me know if you want to be on the video. Let me invite you. But I was cautious because of what you had said, you know? But it is well. Wow. I'm reading your comments, so. Elizabeth said, Angel, the very big male angel, is always over the woman of God. That's right. That's why this Facebook, you don't know, it's noisy now. Oh, my mother, Dekina Deborah said, he said, our uh, with our education, we still believe in the white man's religion. Oh, okay, okay, I see. He's one of those people. It is well. One day you'll get to believe, eh? Dingbula Joel, whatever it is that you're asking for. You say, I should pray for your education and your family. May God bless your family, protect your family, deliver you and your family. In Jesus' name. And you will do well in your education. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, somebody say he called the guy and praying for a fool. My God. This one has gone too far now. Be careful what you say on my video. Before you wake up and your mouth is going like this. Master, you see? You wake up one morning, your mouth is like this. Oh, so be careful what you say on this video. Unless you want to be deformed. It's not even me that will say anything. Me, I'll just block you, but be careful. Hallelujah. Sandra said, Woman of God, give make God give you the power. Woman of God, you're truly leading by the Holy Spirit. And I believe you, woman of God. God bless you, sweetie. Hallelujah. Mm.
Fanny say you've been watching since 5 a.m. God bless you, sweetie. You're coming on Saturday. It is well. God is with you. All right, I'm reading your comments, as you can see. Mirilla Eka, you have pain in your chest. I command healing in your chest right now. Total healing in the name of Jesus. No more pain. That demon has left you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, Jabba, you say you don't mind being on the video. Hey. All right, yeah, I'm inviting you now. Now let's see what's going on. Okay. Madalitso. Hold on, sweetie. Madalitso, receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jabba, I thought you say you don't want to be on video now. What happened? You change your mind these days. I've grown out of the fear. <laughs> yeah. The first time she messaged me, she said, I don't want to be on video, please. Da, 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 da. So today I'm seeing you comment and I'm like, ah, what happened? So you don't care anymore? No, I don't. I don't. Wow. It just happened that you don't care no more. Yeah, in fact, after that, I've actually been commenting and ready for, and every time I start commenting, I dress up and say, Lord, I'm ready for this. <laughs> but I thought I prayed for you the other day. What happened after that? You're still yeah, you did, but uh, you know, the more you keep teaching us, the more I keep learning of some things that I need to be delivered from. Like um, in 2013, when I was nominated to Parliament, I gave some woman, uh, some man of some man of God, money, a lot of money, like almost a million Kenyan shillings. That's like ten thousand dollars. Hmm. What for? It was like, like f part of it was seed. Then part of it, he asked for it again. For what? To so just help you with your election or politics or what? No, he, he. I think he he was late with rent for the church, so he asked me for the rent. Okay, so how is that a problem now? It is a problem because, you know, the other day I was listening to, the, to you teaching us and I seem to have lost so much money after that. I can't hold money. Right now I'm broke, like very broke. And I've lost property. I lost my cars through auction. Right now I'm about to lose another car. You know, things are just not going okay. So, you know, the more I learn, the more I see things that I've done that are wrong. That's why I wrote and I said that I needed to be delivered from spirit of rise and crash. You know, like I rise and I rise, I rise, then I crash, you know, like totally. So, so this was how many years ago? Uh, in 2013. So this is five years ago. I gave in 2013, 2014, 20, I think I, I've, I gave him money like severally. But the one that was very big was that one in, in 20, 2013. Have you suspected that this man is not of God? Like I'm just saying, like, why is your mind going to the man? Like something would have triggered something. Yeah, there's the, 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 uh, from the teaching and then from what I read, there, there are some practices that he made me do that I just feel that they are not biblical. Like what? You have to tell me now so I know. Since you say you want to come online, you might as well talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a time he came to pray for me in my house. And uh, he asked me, he said that somebody had clouded me, that I'd been clouded. So that's why I, I'm not able to get a job again. That's why things are happening in my life, negative things. So he asked me to, to bring like a, 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 a leso, I don't know how you call it in English, like a, a scarf that I've used. Then he burnt it. And he also asked me to put like my urine in a bottle. Then he broke the bottle though while praying like he used the I don't know which part of the Bible <laughs> the one of breaking 
breaking the bottle. <laughs> so, you, so you pee you know, the, the breaking the prayer of breaking the jar. Pardon? Okay. Okay. So he bro- he wrote something about breaking the jar. Yeah. He was trying to. So he was saying that he's breaking all my all the issues that I've been going through. Because you see, after the election, I lost. I went. I ran again for elections and lost. So now things are just. That's why I'm calling it rise and crash because it is crashing, and every day they keep on crashing and crashing and crashing. Okay. So, 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 the bottle, peeing and breaking, and then your scarf. That's the only thing that makes you suspicious, or is there something else? And, you know, I've given him so much because at some point I used to go to his church and I stopped going to his church because I used to feel that when I'm there, you see, like, as a, as a leader in my country, when you go somewhere and then it's like you're the one being worshipped, everything, oh, senator this, senator that. So I felt like they were worshipping my money. So when I stopped going to the church, it's like he started hating me, you know. So he would sometimes send me SMSs that were not proper. Oh, you so threaten you. Pardon? You so threaten you. Yes, yes, yes. But wait, before you met this man of God or this pastor, was your life better? Yeah. Were things okay for you? Yes, yes, yes. So now your your spirit keeps going towards him. You keep thinking that it was hitting. Yeah, in fact, I listened to the, you know, when I was listening, I don't know, you talked about it, is it two days ago, or three days ago? So I just sat back and thought about all the things that I've given in that church. I've given a lot other than money. I've given, I gave him, they needed a TV in the church. I bought a TV in the church. They needed, he needed shoes. I bought shoes. They needed, you know, the way when a man of God keeps asking and you feel that, I feel, me, I'm a giver. I like giving and I enjoy giving. So he kept asking. And then so the other day when you talked about it, so I just sat down and thought, in fact, I wrote down all the things I have given to him. And I told myself that right now I have grown in my Christianity. I have grown. I pray better. I don't fornicate. I know how to repent. And through your ministry, I've really learned a lot. So when I wrote down these things and I asked myself that all these things I've done and the way my life is right now, in fact, I feel scared when he texts me because he still texts me and I don't respond because I feel scared. I just feel, you know, like something is not right. So once you get his text message, you start getting scared. Very scared. In fact, I don't respond. And he will keep texting. Sometimes. Okay, of course, sometimes he will text me Bible verses, which I will read and I'll just... But about it. As you're on live now, don't you think he's seeing this video? No. But even if he sees, uh, you know, woman of God, right now I've gotten to a point that I am okay with my God. So I leave everything to him. Even if he sees and he gets mad at me, if he he's truly a man of God and he knows that he did he, he was doing wrong by taking advantage of my status at the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, huh? But but the giving you were not you were not forced to give you 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 gave it on your like they didn't force you you were you voluntarily they didn't gave. Force me to give. But the more I kept, you see, like the more I kept giving, then I started feeling like I, he was taking advantage of my gener- generosity. Kept asking. Okay. And then well, you, the way he me too, I'm, a, I'm a giver, but I don't feel like anyone is making me do it. I just get led to give. So you were not led. It was more like you were, you were forced to. You were asked to give, like you were, you were compelled by them to give. What do you mean, the word? Yes. You see, there are those you times like, that I was like to manipulated to give. Were you manipulated? Yes, manipulated. That's the word. Manipulated. You see, like. When, when I go and give an offering, then he would come later and even, and the way he would speak it, like, oh, uh, God knows the kind of money you have. So if you don't give, you know, like making me feel guilty if I don't give. Okay. Okay. And since you started giving things, you say you lost three cars or four cars. You were yeah. typing some things. Yeah, I lost, when, uh, when I was still in parliament, I lost three cars. And right now, my car is with auctioneers. Actually, they called me today, sometime in the day, telling me that 
am I going to pay the money I owe them or, or they sell my car? And I mean, I just told them by faith that they may not sell the car. I'll be, I'll manage to raise money and, and, you know, to get the car back. So from someone that was in the, in, in the, is it like a, you guys call it white house or the government house that used to be comfortable. Now you are like zero, nothing, everything gone. Yeah. yeah. And they were going fast, fast, fast. Very fast. Like in a, you know, that's what I'm calling it rise and crash like a plane crash just crashed wow and you 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 contested second time again but uh yeah. you did not win yeah i lost it is well so now what do you want god to do for you i just want god to restore the things i have lost my leadership my finances you know and also to, I want deliverance from this spirit of loss and spirit of rise and crash. So you say your leadership, meaning you are planning to go run for politics again? Or even Have just you... an appointment from, from the leadership of my country, you know, like a, a presidential appointment. Or well, you want to be a president? No. <laughs> no, 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 I, no. I, um... I don't know now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm asking questions. So before you were a senator, right? Yes. Okay. And now you want, when is the election starting again? The elections is in four years. What, I, what I'm, what I'm saying is, you know, uh, normally when after, after elections, the president gets to give people like appointments, it gives people jobs. Yeah, so that's what I I I am um, so looking forward to. Exactly. So you need the yes. president, you need God to favor you, so the president can give you an appointment. Yes, yes, yes. So right now, do you know the president? Yes, I do. But right now, it's like nobody wants to look at you right now. Yeah, and I was actually in the president's party, which is uh, was against my community. You know. Okay. How are you feeling now as you're talking to me? Shaking and sweating. <laughs> it is well. Let me pray for you. You want to... Can you see without your glass? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. There's somebody making noise in that house. Like knocking something. Mm -hmm. And your phone needs to be on silent. I think people calling you or something. We hear the big bang okay. bang. Okay. I'll put it on silent. Okay. And you right now you are suspecting a pastor. Nobody else. I gave, I gave so, so much in that altar, woman of God. Uh, so much. Because some people give a lot. It is well. Let's pray and see what happened now. Me, I okay. didn't say anything. You're the one talking. Just close your eyes. Put your right hand on your forehead. Just take a deep breath. Relax. Now say, Jesus, deliver me. Say it seven times slowly. Jesus, deliver me. 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 What is happening to you? I am shaking and my teeth are rattling. Um. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire. From your head to your toe. You demon. Sitting on her finances. Sitting on her destiny. Uh -huh. Making her lose things. Fire. Come back up before you drop this lady. Fire. Fire. Angels, pour buckets of fire on this one. Fire all over your body. Fire in that house. Fire. 
Fire. Your time is up. You have been exposed to the fire. Ah! In the name of Jesus. More fire. Who are you? Come back. Bring your face forward. Who are you? Who are you tormenting this woman? Eh? Who are you? Fire. More fire. More. 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 More fire. Angels, keep tormenting these demons. Keep pouring fire. Make her body hot. Make her house hot. Everything that belongs to her, fire on it. Whoever is responsible for this, fire on them. Wherever they are, fire. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire all over the place. Scatter everywhere. Fire. Fire. In your belly, fire. Even your private area, fire. No peace for the wicked. Fire. 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 Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Now speak before I chop your head off. More fire. More. 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 Whatever you've put in her, I need to see her face. Begin to remove. Remove everything you put. Everything you put that you are making her suffer. Remove it all. Remove, 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 remove. Remove it all. Uh -huh. You're making her not to be you're making her to be ignored. You want her to suffer, right? Remove it all. Remove. Remove whatever you gave her to eat or drink. Vomit it now. Toss it out now. Out of her. Come out of her system. All of it. Come out. Out. Spirit of bad luck, of rejection, of failure. Out. In the name of Jesus, more fire. Angels, keep pouring fire. Torment these demons. Keep tormenting them, all of you. All of you, leave. She will be free today. Her destiny will be restored. She will be appointed. She will gain everything that she lost back. Fire, more, more fire. More, more, more. Rakata. He pala handy. More fire. More fire. Yes. Everything come out. Come out of our system. Come out. All of it. Come out. Come out. Even that oil that you drank or something. That olive oil or whatever it is. I don't know. I keep hearing oil. I command that thing to come out of your system. Ah! System. All of it. In the name of Jesus, fire in the camp of the enemy now. More fire, more. Angel, get that sword ready. On the count of three, you chop off the heads of these demons, so that this lady's destinies can be re destiny can be restored. Get the sword ready. Get the sword ready. More fire. Are you ready to speak? Because I'm about to chop your head off. I have all the recordable seat by the Now, on the count of three, <coughs> chop the head of this demon and you will be set free. One, two, three. Chop it off. Out of her. Out of her. In the name of Jesus, I declare you free. In Jesus' name. Your destiny is restored, and the president will call you ASAP and give you an appointment. Your car will not be auctioned. They will call you back miraculously to be paid for. Everything you have lost, I command total restoration in the name of Jesus. Total, speedily. Speedily, in the name of Jesus, whoever did this, to you, everything I send it back to them 100 times. They will confess in Jesus' name. 
I don't know when I was praying for you, I kept hearing oil, oil. I don't know. I was, I was hearing oil. Something like uh, olive oil. Oil. It kept coming over and over. You didn't used to have oil or nothing, right? Yeah, he, he gave me <clears throat> anointing oil. Were you drinking it or just using it? Just using it. I kept hearing oil. You still have it? No, 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 no. So you were using it a lot? <laughs> Yeah, like I used to, I used it like almost every day. Ah, yeah, yeah. So when I was praying for you, I kept hearing oil, oil. But that was the last time you used it. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, a long while. So you were using it on your stuff? <clears throat> yeah, like on my hands, on, on myself, even on my child. Where's your child? He's here. Come, come. I kept hearing oil. I don't know why the oil was so important. He's here. <clears throat> Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hi, thank you. And how are you? I'm blessed. I'm great. Put your right hand on your forehead, sweetie. Close your eyes. Holy Ghost, fire all over his body. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire every demon, every evil spirit. Hiding in you, tormenting you, out of you in the name of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I rinse you in the blood of Jesus. I declare you free in Jesus' name. Amen. Your destiny is restored in Jesus' name. He is fine. God bless you, sweetie. God bless Go you ahead. too. Good. You have a kid, son. All right. So, Thank how do you, you feel now? I feel exhausted, like I was working <laughs> and <sighs> free. I feel I feel good, and my heart is still beating. My legs cannot stop shaking. It is <clears throat> you are free. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. Restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Everything I have said, as I have said it, so shall it be. God will help. You. In Jesus name. Miraculously, you, Jesus. you will restore. You, you will restore everything you lost. Thank in you. Jesus' name. You said something. Did you lose land or something? You were messaging me one time. Something about land or no, something. I, I'm trying to sell some land so that I can be able to pay debts. It has well, not been possible. Land, right? Pardon? This is your land. You're selling it because you yeah. need money. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, it is well. God will come. Thank you. God will send you buyers in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. All right. God bless you, sweetie. God bless you too. Thank you so God much. I keep hearing oil. Oil. Oh, there was one lady that passed up. Isaac, Pastor, there was a lady you did. The lady. You saw her drinking oil. You saw her drinking oil, right? Yeah. She was drinking oil. And then Pastor asked her, he said, do you have any oil that you're drinking? She said yes, right? Mm. A pastor was giving her oil. Yeah. And they keep calling her to ask her, say, I think the oil finished. I want to send her oil. <laughs> pastor said, the lady said, the man of God that gave her the oil, every time he will call her and ask her, is the oil is the oil still remaining? Don't you need more oil? It's not finished. You've not finished drinking it. <laughs> she did not know that the more she drank the oil, eh? The more, the more demons enter her. Cast out the, demons from her. Thousands, right? He said he cast out thousands of demons. The pastor will say, you still get oil. Are you sure you're drinking it well? Drink more, more. <laughs> I didn't even know you could drink that thing. So it's so like, how can somebody you be drinking oil like this? My God. It's not even comfortable. You know olive oil, right? Like you just drink it. I can understand water, but guy will be calling her. Are you sure? You, are you sure it's enough? We can send you more oil. Though. You guys be careful, eh? It is well. You say that. Well, we can't really say. We don't know. We don't know anything. He shall love the Lord. 
You guys are laughing. It's Pastor Isaac. Pastor, now you talk more. Uh-huh. <laughs> now you tell me your... Oh yeah, me when I was praying for her, though I kept hearing oil. Hallelujah. Alrighty, who's next? What time is it? Wow, we still have one hour fifty-four minutes. Wow, and that will make it twelve hours. And it looks like say sleep don't they come on? Let us see who can who can get next. My God. Do you know yesterday I be today I was so tired I was laying in bed all day, only for me to come left, not knowing I will be spending twelve hours online. Every time I'm so tired and weak, that's when I do the most videos. When I'm weak, that's when I'm strong. His grace is what sufficient for me, right? His power works best in my weakness when I'm weak. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, somebody say castor oil is good. It cleanses your stomach. Ah. I don't even think I can drink that thing. Lucia. You know, Lucia, I think you should restart your phone and comment again because you don't have the... Um, you don't have the video sign, so I can't even invite you. Mm. I'm getting sleepy. Sleep don't catch me. Sleep don't catch me. I think I have to leave you guys. Let me go and sleep before I, I start doing something and I'm sleeping like this. And my belly, after this prayer I prayed, it's like... Something just carry all the food in my belly and now I'm sleeping. Before I go, everybody get water. Let me bless. Bless. Get water. Let me bless so I can go sleep. I'm sleep. I'm getting sleepy. Carry your water. Quick, quick, quick. Let me pray for your water. Eh? And I'm still... Let me see how many people I have now. So far, I have given 83 people $100 each. So I'm still... I don't know, is Wesu watching? Wesu, are you watching? If you're watching, comment Wesu. I need to get 17 more people today so I can complete my 100 people that I'm giving $100. So if you are watching here, and you qualify to get this hundred dollars i'm looking to help 17 more people i've helped 83 people already that are in desperate need of help financial help maybe you don't even have enough money for food or you don't have enough money for your kids to or your bill your light bill or something desperate need not people that are looking for money to go and give us offering no i'm talking about money that can really help you and your family right right now you can go to my page you will see a post where i i i wrote that i'm helping people 100 people with 100 dollars look for that post comment there explain your situation there and post your paypal or cash app and as the spirit leads me I will respond and I will give you $100. I still have like 17 people. We have, I've given 83 people. It's just me giving back, blessing people. I'm not, I don't want anything from you. I'm not trying to get money from you. Eh? Don't worry. It's just me. Okay. All right. Get your water ready. If it's bottle, open it. If it's cup, raise it up with your right hand. If your kids are there too, they have to drink water. And this one that I'm, pray I'm praying for, you also sprinkle it all over your house. There's somebody I'm hearing that you also need to shower. You need to bathe this water. So you will drop a little bit in a bucket that you're bathing. You have like skin problems or something, skin disease. 
I'm hearing that when I bless this water, there's somebody I'm hearing that you have to bait from of this water. So you you don't have to carry a whole bucket of water. You can just pour a little bit into the bucket that you're baiting. You have like skin problem and as you bait, you'll be free. Now, if you're still here and you believe that you also need to bait it, fine. Get a bucket. But otherwise, you just drop a little from the bottle into the bucket and bait. Like I heard it clearly that somebody need to bait it. I don't know who you are, but you have a skin condition. A skin condition. And then um, the rest of you, you drink and you sprinkle. Even inside your car. Somebody open your engine and sprinkle that water. Open your, what's it called? What's that thing you open? Like your 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 bonnet. Is it bonnet? Or your, um, what they call it here in America? Bonnet or hood or something. You open it and you sprinkle it on that thing and your car will start to work. Your car has been down for like three weeks or something. The moment you sprinkle it, close it, believe it, start the car to work. I'm just hearing, you probably want to get a big container of water since you're going to drink, sprinkle, and do all these things. So maybe you need to go get one more bottle, add to it. Uh huh. So I'm going to give you 30 more seconds. Maybe you need to make the cup a little bigger because you're going to sprinkle it all over your house. You go to your car, you that your car has been sitting in that place. And then sprinkle even in your front, your back. And then you that needs to bait it, you bait too. Something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Somebody, you're about to like, um, it's like you're about to apply for something, like documents or something. About to apply for documents. If you have the paper or anything that has to do with your documents, it's like either you're applying or you're sending in paperwork for it. Just sprinkle a little bit on it and send it and it, it will work. Now, if you have anything that you believe that once you sprinkle this water on, it will begin to work. Even if your phone, your laptop, something is not working. In fact, I need my water too. Thank you. Because I'm hearing all this instruction. It means this water will be powerful. I can't, <laughs> I can't miss this one. <laughs> eh. Oh, I hear somebody, you have to sprinkle it inside your wallet, where you put your money. Sprinkle there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Father. Are you guys getting all this instruction I'm getting? Uh -huh. Just be ready. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. I want to pray for it. Raise it up. Raise it up. Make sure you do everything I said. If it's you, don't forget to sprinkle it all over your house. Somebody, you have a fireplace. You have to sprinkle the water in your fireplace. Like a little bit in, inside your fireplace. Sometimes you're afraid to look at that place. You have a fireplace. Sprinkle some of the water there when you sprinkle all over the house. You will know that I'm speaking to you as I'm saying these things. I'm ready to pray for you. Raise it up. Close your eyes. Father Lord, I command everybody's water, including mine, to turn into the blood of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus, I anoint your water. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. I release the fire, the grace, the power, the anointing upon my life into your water in the name of Jesus. As you drink this water, as you bathe this water, as you sprinkle this water, you shall be free. You shall be healed. You shall be restored. Somebody I hear you shall be vindicated in the name of Jesus. There will be breakthrough all over in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. There will be favor. In the name of Jesus, 
every evil spirit, spiritual, my spiritual, my spirit of stagnation, spirit of poverty, every evil spirit will come out of you as you drink this water. In the name of Jesus, every curse affecting you and your family will be broken. In the name of Jesus, every shrine fighting you and your family will be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every witch and wizard tormenting you and your family as you drink this water, they will confess and die. In the name of Jesus, every voodoo, every charm planted anywhere in your house, outside your house, in the village back home, as you drink this water, as you sprinkle, as you bait it, they will be uprooted, they will be discovered. In the name of Jesus, every monitoring agent in your house, as you drink, as you sprinkle this water, as you bait this water, they will be exposed, they will come out, they will die in the name of Jesus. This is no longer ordinary water. This water has power in it. You will drink, you will bait, you will sprinkle, and you will come back with testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. My God. As I was praying for this water, my God, I feel a strong anointing. Anyone that is sick, as you are drinking this water, you are getting healed. There's a strong anointing right now. I'm vibrating all over my body. Some of you, I see you throwing up. Somebody, you will throw up like a green thing. Something green will come out of you. I see you guys vomiting, yawning, burping, sneezing, coughing, peeing, pooping. Make sure you sprinkle right away. Sprinkle right away. Rakata brahi kosi prihi kanta. Rende kele kataya baba. Rese preka sunti karaba siente recapa rakati sekora kataya. All of you, as you are drinking this water, you will be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. You will receive a fresh fire, fresh anointing, and power in the name of Jesus. You will be on fire for God. Your eyes will open, your ears will open, your dream life will be restored. You will be free in the name of Jesus. Ha 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 ha. Rase kele I love you. You, Jesus, my God, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. If you miss this water prayer, you need to go back when I'm done and, and watch it. I just feel a strong presence. The presence of God is so strong here. Like from my head to my toe, it's just like a vibration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He did say, Parabasi Arakatosa. He did say, Parabasi Arakatosa. He did Somebody, you're throwing up. Rakasikelekadababa Rondo korobo siki la baba baba, rakadiba sente le baba baba, rokondo para ba siya kata ya baba baba, ora katiki la kata ya baba, oko koko koka kaka 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 kaka, kaka 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 kaka, rekete kete bo si baba baba, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Oh my God, I feel a strong anointing right now. It's like I just received strength from nowhere. It's like I just received strength. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear instant healing. He said, check yourself, some of you. You came here with pain, but you are healed. It's gone. I see somebody you're actually throwing up right now. Throwing up. I saw somebody you were going to throw up like some green stuff. 
like green things were going to come out of you. Thank you, Jesus. Tell us how you feel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, Pala Baba. Rekaba Sekele Baba. Rekente Lekosi Bala Kansia Handa. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you share this video. You could be saving somebody's life. Yekapa Sekila Kata Yaya Ya. Rekeba Hika Baba. Rakadiga da Baba Baba. Siki de Baba Baba. Ige de Gotor Koroba Siki da Baba. Rakatoko toro bo sike le baba baba. Rekete kete kete. Raka baba ba sike le baba baba baba. Regede ba sike le baba 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 baba. Raka da baba baba sike le bo sike le baba baba. Reke le baba baba baba. Reke nti agodo si brada kandia. Thank you Jesus. Oh my God. Somebody say, woman of God, my friend is throwing up badly. I knew it. I knew it. I felt a strong anointing. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ragadiba sentia da baba ba ka 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 rondo robo si bradiga sonta rakada somebody say my friend is just from throwing up we see a lot of people throwing up wow e karabasi i knew it something ha si pala ha i feel a strong anointing right now hira sonte le konda ya hande ha Somebody say back pain is gone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell us how you're feeling. Like I feel it so strong. My God, it's like a vibration all over my body. Like electricity all over my body. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. When you're bopping, you're yawning, trust me, something is coming out. Something that's not supposed to be there. Moses, I can't stop yawning. Wow. The strong presence of God in this place. Hallelujah. Rakaraba sikete ya kata ya baba. Kakade kato si bradikanda. Rekendi ara kosi paya hana. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Somebody say. Hello, woman of God. I have a big testimony. Let's hear you out. My God. Wow. If somebody say, if your friend is vomiting, let her vomit. You don't have to help her. Let everything come out. Don't be afraid. She's being... Hello, woman of God. God bless you. You say you have a testimony. Go ahead. It's very big one. <laughs> I, I have delivered. I delivered a bouncy baby boy. Wow. Hallelujah. Is yeah. You say it's a big testimony. What happened? You couldn't have you couldn't give birth before or what? Woman of God. <laughs> There's strong man in my family, my father's house that, that has been troubling us a long time ago. Yesterday, my baby uh, completed seven days. He died. Your baby, you gave birth. Yesterday, my baby completed seven days. So how is how is it? You couldn't have a baby before. Or what? They called me from Africa that the strong man is dead. I know, but you say your testimony is you delivered. How is what happened? When I text messages, you prayed on the water for me. 
it was really, really terrible. During the nine months pregnancy, it was bad too. So during the delivery, it was hell. I bleeded so much, but God helped me. Then yesterday, I received a call that the strong man in my family, my daddy twin brother, he has been troubling us for long. I just received the call yesterday evening that he is dead. What, was it like a witch, a wizard or something? He's more than a wizard. He's a cortex. He's, he's a cortex. He's a wizard. He's, he's so strong. He even he, he killed my sister, my brother. He has been he has been troubling us so for a long time now. He has been disturbing us. Everywhere we go, they tell us your uncle, your uncle, your uncle, your uncle. Yesterday, the news came that he's dead. Even my daddy said he saw him last week Sunday. He was so strong. But yesterday, so, they called us that he's dead. So you believe that he was the one affect, um, messing with your pregnancy? Mama, um, woman of God, not just me alone. It was, I was pregnant. My younger sister was pregnant. They said the both of us won one that they want to use one of us to replace they want to replace either me or my younger sister so we were on prayer both of us we were praying where i was on fasting all the time that either i go or my younger sister go so to god be the glory she delivered successfully just about three weeks after her delivery i delivered too successfully and your baby your baby is healthy her baby is healthy yes very and strong and healthy and now the person that is tormenting the family suddenly just died. Yesterday, my baby completed seven days. They said he's, they called me and said he's gone. Wow. So you guys are happy that he's dead. <laughs> One of God, I am so happy. I am so happy. Let's see your baby again. His name is Daniel. Daniel is just seven days old. Wow. Cute baby. Wow. Congratulations, sweetie. And you are Thank fine you. now, right? Everything is okay with ah. Daniel. Uh oh. The internet is just frozen. I'm the, that's why the bleeding, everything, I'm strong. It is well. To God be Thank the you. glory. May God continue you. to protect you and your family. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you very much. As well Ma. with you. Amen. God Thank bless you. you. He said the strong man in the family is dead. My God. Hey. When somebody dies, normally people are sad, but <laughs> somebody died. That one would have really tormented the family. Oh. Pastor, you know that normally when people die, everybody is crying, but this one they are rejoicing. That means this one, she said, kill her sister, her brother. My God. Wow. But why do you say the Bible says, when the wicked perish, when the wicked perish, no, Pastor, I say, like Bible, when the wicked perish, there are shouts of joy. Wow. I was like her. Strong man here. Wanted to kill either her or her sister. And they are both alive. But that one died. Anyone that is plotting death for you, eh? That pit that they are digging for you, they will fall into that pit in Jesus. Eh? You will not die. You will live long. You will fulfill your destiny. They will die. Because some people, they've said, it's either you or them. Or they will say, over my dead body, will you succeed? They will say, over my dead body, will you get married? Over my dead body, would you move forward? Okay, since it's over your dead body, so shall it be. <laughs> and those are witches mostly. They'll say, no, it's, I will not be here and see her do like this. Over my dead body. If you say over my dead body, so shall it be. So anyone that has said over my dead body for you, that is making you miserable, their death is coming for them now because they have already wished it upon themselves. You are free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How is everyone feeling? My God. Suddenly, I just got strength from nowhere. Does anyone else have a testimony or anything? That water was very powerful. If you drink that water and you're still asking for prayer, then you don't have faith. In fact, let me let you guys go so you can enjoy the water. If you missed it, go back and rewind it. 
I also give you an assignment, sprinkle it, drop a little bit and shower if you're that one that has that skin. Um, I heard that somebody had something on their skin that they need to. I also heard that you need somebody needs to sprinkle in the hood of the car. And somebody I heard, the fireplace. And then I think there was something else I heard. I forgot. But I hope you guys remember all of it. Alright guys. Love you guys. I will see you guys again later. This is the third video. Make sure you watch video 1, 2, 3. We did a lot of deliverance and healing. God bless all of you. I'll see you if you're led to give an offering. If you've been blessed or delivered or and you want to give an offering, I'll post the PayPal info at the end of the, the video. PayPal, Cash App, or Nigerian Bank Account info. It is well with you. If you are one of the people that qualify for the desperately in need of $100, go to my page, scroll down, you'll see the post where I'm giving 100 people. I only need 17 more. I've given 83 people. Comment exactly what is wrong. I have to see that there's a desperate need for it. Don't lie. Because if you lie, you will drop dead like Ananias and his wife. It's not that serious for you to lie about $100. Alright? God bless all of you. Bye-bye.